If you've been injured, the insurance company that you hear from is not there to help you. Don't get bullied by insurance companies. Call Jason Ernest and bully them back at 775-727-9500. The shoe should be cushioned. It should have a heel flare to absorb shock in the heel area. You should have some cushion by the metatarsal or the front part of the foot so that that also is cushioned when you're running. You want to make sure that the toe box area is big enough so that your foot slides just a little bit. The the toes aren't rubbing right into the shoe. Dr. Rowland says finding a couple of good running shoes to rotate between is important since all running shoes are different. Changing up which ones you wear periodically can break up the repetitive stress running puts on your feet. Socks specifically made for running and a supportive insole can also help reduce your risk for foot injuries like blisters. Well before your run, Dr. Rowland says, it's crucial to build up your foot strength by doing daily exercises and stretches. For example, you can flex your foot up to resistance and down to resistance. Or try some toe presses, where you push your big toe to the ground while lifting your other toes up. Not only do foot strengthening and stability exercises help you as you prepare for your run, but also while you're running, The better prepared your feet are, it reduces your risk of injury and it reduces long-term problems like stress fracture.